Hello everyone and in this video we are going to talk about Redux Thunk example and we will actually create a basic blog. We will access the blog APIs and user APIs and we will fetch that details using Redux Thunk in our Redux actions. Okay, so we have this set of APIs if you see we can actually fetch the blog details here if you see we are getting the, all the posts so we will write redux thunk we will write actions to get all the posts and we can also pass the user id like user id is one and we can get the user details so we will see how we can write a basic react redux application which will fetch each and every blog and the details about the user who has written that blog so here first first of all we will get the post and the post is written by this user id so we have to get the user object also so how to populate this in the redux state and then populate that on the ui this is what we are going to do this is just a placeholder uh, api is available it's like common api is available we can access that so we'll be just using axios to make an api call the the tricky part is how you are going to deal at action level so we are going to use redux thunk and we are going to use async await for the actions. So let's write the code. So this is our index.js. Here we have our required imports like we are creating store, we are using thunk as a module. Here we are actually using Redux dev tools. Finally, we are creating store and store we are passing, right? Now what all other things we need? We just need a few things like we can create a folders, actions, reducers and you can say components actions reducers components and just the api interface which we can create so apis it will have a simple index.js file where we are going to make the api call so it is our index.js In this, we will just make an API call to this. We created an Axios instance, and our components, our actions will use this Axios instance to make an API call. Okay, now if we see if we will write a, if we are going to write actions and reducers, first we will see what data we are going to get. You can see first we are fetching the posts. Okay, so we can have a post array in the state, and we can have another is the user's object okay and then we can map okay if user id is one then okay put the user object having user id one with this blog post so in our reducers in our store we can have a two objects in a json tree one is a users one is a posts so based on that we will design our reducers okay so our reducers are going to be simple one we can actually create two reducers post reducer first of all index.js which will combine both the reducer and we can create post post reducer post reducer.js and we can create another reducer is user reducer okay now these bo both the reducers will deal with a different set of data for that we can just write our uh, reducers post reducer like we are going to get all the posts together so it is one single reducer we have created okay and we have user reducer user reducer will get the user data okay here if we if i just say users and pass one then i'm getting the user data okay so i can maintain the both the api response in the different different uh, reducers first is if i just write this is a post reducer so we are getting all the posts together so now we have written these reducers many times it is very simple this is the action type we are setting the payload whatever we are getting in the response and it will just set the post information in the post post uh, object in the store similarly we have user reducer so for user reducer you can say we can actually copy this and paste it here 
first of all and then you will just change it in user reducer export default our this is the default state and here instead of fetch posts our action will be users okay here initial state is empty and there are many users we are going to get over the time like if you pass user id 1 2 3 so we are going to concat this is my current state i will concat the payload which we are getting so it will always return the new state for me fetch user because we are fetching a single user in the default case we are returning a current state okay in the reducers we can actually combine them so we already know how to combine we can just use export default combine reducer we combine reducers and here we can actually pass both the objects posts here it will take post reducer okay we will add that and then second one is users okay so we can import post reducer post reducer from we have post reducer and similarly we can actually get the user reducer we are actually exporting default so we can get that here it is user reducer okay we can just place it now whatever we are getting from the post reducer we are holding that in the post key in the store and for the users it is inside the users object okay both and we are already export defaulting this so this is a root reducer we are exporting so these are our reducers we are created we have created our apis now we will create actions so what all actions we are going to dispatch and here is our main role of our redux trunk right so what we do is first of all what we are getting is we need to fetch all the post and for each and every post we have the user id so we will be making a call to get each and every user and we just need to call these two actions in the post reducer fetch post single call and fetch user for each and every id and we, we keep concatting the users so we'll get all the users in this particular state okay so we can actually import for dash because we'll be doing something with this like we'll be iterating, iterating on the objects and all okay and we have import apis from okay we need to go back APIs and index. So from there we, we can actually you can call it as simple as axios because it is returning axios opt instance only. Okay, and here we can write our function export const fetch posts and users. Both the things we are doing together, and this is our action is going to be right. Now we already aware that how to write a how to write a asynchronous action. I mean we will be using async await and all. So for that what we can do is return async. We are passing dispatch here. Okay. This will be fine. Okay, this is correct. Now what we can do is we can actually call await and dispatch one particular action which is fetch posts this we are going to write because await the dispatch can be used for all, any kind of execution as either synchronous or asynchronous now fetch posts we can define export const fetch posts it is actually uh, another async await call return async you can write that in the single line also like instead of doing this you can actually use async dispatch okay async dispatch and this should be the function argument we are returning 
and then the arrow function again okay here we can actually make an api call like const response we are getting from the await of uh, axios dot get what we are appending is posts right it will give us the data so now once we get the all the posts we will dispatch it so we will pass the type type is nothing but fetch posts and data which we got is response dot data so what actually it has done oh, it is complaining this is my type response dot data okay. you see this we are dispatching there is simply something is missing okay yeah big data so it should be payload right in payload we are sending it so this action will go to reducer which is fetch posts and it will update the post data so this is what we are doing in the first call which we have written and we can also refactor it we can actually write the async here itself async and we are passing two argument dispatch and another thing we will understand is get state so this is another argument which we can use and here first argument we are calling is we don't need to return now here we have another function so we are doing await dispatch fetch post fetch post is another api call i mean another action creator method we have written and it is dispatching it once this is done now what we need is we need the list of users right const user ids these typos const user ids we are getting now what we can do is whatever the unique we are getting so we can say unique unique we are getting from so we can actually how how can you get the current state so we have get state method in this function in this action creator provided by this redux thumb which will help us to get the current state after this action has been dispatched right right now we have all the posts in the state right and we are actually getting user id from there so that means we really got the user ids of all the posts now we will actually iterate on to these we can say for each okay and we will actually dispatch the action for each and every id so here we have a dispatch and here we can call another method fetch user by passing the individual id and we can actually declare this method this is responsible for getting a single user here fetch user here we are passing id and dispatch and id so this is another method we have what it is doing is it is getting the id so we can access that id in the inner function dispatch here we are going to do users instead of this users and we are going to pass this id and we'll wrap in inside these delimiters that takes so we got the response now simply we can call fetch user instead of fetch post fetch user response dot data so this is how we keep appending each and every user information so initially we got all the post now we got all the user ids for each and every user id we are dispatching it so you can see how cleaner way we are using now to write these async await functions with the help of redux tongue because when we are dispatching actions whenever we are writing this dispatch and this can be written anywhere once your task is done like async await once the await is done i will dispatch this once this await is done i will dispatch this particular action and once this await is done i will get all the i mean i will get the current state i will get the, all the posts and fetch the user ids this is just a lot dash way of getting the things here we actually have to map onto it so underscore unique it's called a map which we forgot okay this is the, yeah so we are iterating on to the array which we got and we are getting the current state post and we are fetching that particular user id so we get the user ids and we are looping onto it and dispatching the actions right 
so writing a simple redux action i mean we are using redux tant and we are what we are using is simple you can just use export function and your function name or you can just use anonymous variable like export const get data what we are doing is simply using async await here you can actually return it something like this also here return async okay and we are passing dispatch here we are actually calling some api moral of the story is this we are calling some api okay that api will return some data using some const data once we receive that data then we can actually dispatch an action dispatch here you can actually pass type type can be your fetch data and your payload can be simple the data which we have received data dot data i mean why this auto populate stuff works okay before even doing that you can do lot of things you can actually dispatch in progress events okay fetch data start you can say one action name you can create is start so you can actually toggle some loading state which you have right and if you have if, if you put this in the try catch like if any error occurs by chance because this you are writing in the await if any error occurs then you have to show it on the ui then we have to dispatch another action for capturing this error fetch data error right we will just pass the error object for now okay something like this so this is the cleaner way i mean this can be structured in any way you want format yeah so this some api can be anything can be a synchronous call can be http call can be getting data from some uh, internal api is getting the data if any issues occurs then obviously fetch data failure occurred if your everything is fine you got the data here you can check if data is there then only set it otherwise set it null fetch data success you can see here this is how typically we'll do fetch data start success and error this is how you can actually make a single exios call and this is how you can write that in the redux actions okay once we have we have we have written this now rest all these things are creating the components and consuming the data okay that we will see in the next video thanks everyone